The, the one thing that most people also forget about Frank Sinatra is what a brilliant actor he was. He won the Academy Award and he never took an acting lesson. From here to eternity, we won the Academy Award. I once said to him, sitting around with all these wonderful actors at his home, Gregory Peck, Kirk Douglas, uh, Clint Eastwood, Robert Wagner, um, all these actors sitting around, and he started talking about acting, and I was interested. And they were talking about films that they directed and were involved in. And I just said, Frank, did you ever study acting? And Gregory Peck grabbed my arm. He said, acting lessons would have ruined him. He was a diamond in the rough that you didn't fool with. You know, this from a learned actor, Gregory Peck. You know, so forget about from here to eternity where he won the Academy Award. What about the man with the golden arm where he should have won the Academy Award? What about a movie called Suddenly? What about a movie called um, The Manchurian Candidate? This was a brilliant actor. He danced with Gene Kelly, for God's sake. You know, this, this, the, the, that's why what people forget, when you gave Frank Sinatra a song, to him it was a script. What did the writer feel the night the writer took pen in hand? He would immerse himself in the lyric and become that lonely guy in the bar whose woman left him and he's never going to find love again. And, and, and that's his interpretation of lyrics. There's never been another singer like that. Steve Lawrence, who, who's a great singer, great singer himself, once said to Frank, he said, you know, you ruined it for all the rest of us. He said, once they heard you sing, they knew how it's supposed to be. There's never been or never will be another singer like Frank Sinatra. There's wonderful singers out there. But think about, arguably, the greatest career show business has ever known. You know, he, he, motion pictures, Academy Awards, Grammys, you know, uh, Oscars. He won three Oscars, you know. And he danced, of all things, like I say, with Gene Kelly. So he was an extraordinary entertainer. And for me, a little boy from Harvey, Illinois, who used to shine shoes in bars in Harvey, Illinois, and hear him on the jukebox, you know. And then years later, to be flying with him and sitting there talking with him. I stayed with Frank Sinatra 14 years, and he never once knew how much in awe of him I was. That's the hard part. <laughs> That's the hard part. Because if he knew how much in awe of him I was, chances are that I wouldn't have been with him. He didn't need another fan. He had billions of fans, millions of fans. And he didn't need another fan. He wanted a pal. And I picked up on that earlier. I don't know how I picked up, maybe from being a bartender all those years before I was ever made any money in show business, that I picked up on that. And I, I never let him know. There were times I wanted to say, wow, what you just did tonight, that was magnificent. But... He, could, he also didn't like compliments a lot. You know, you couldn't compliment him. You know, if you could, but he would change the subject, you know.